Coming up on Real Time this week, thousands are expected to gather in DC to celebrate the second anniversary of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. A trial is set for a couple who allegedly had an illegal abortion. SBUC's Rob Collins is embarking on an epic 155-mile journey from St Albans to Walsingham, all on foot. Thousands are expected to make the journey to Washington DC to join the second annual Celebrate Life conference from June the 21st to the 23rd. The event is to commemorate the overturning of the Roe v. Wade and authority to regulate abortion to states. The Pro-Life Women's Conference and National Sidewalk Advocacy Centre have come together to join the Celebrate Life Conference, offering attendees opportunities for discussion and ways for protecting unborn babies. March for Life President Jean Mancini will also give the opening keynote session. The three-day conference will also host the Celebrate Life Gala featuring Matt Walsh of the Daily Wire. On Saturday morning, thousands will take part in the Celebrate Life rally. A woman who allegedly had an illegal abortion is set to face a trial next year. Sophie Harvey is 25 of St Mary's Road. Siren Sester has been accused of procuring poison, procuring her own abortion and attempting to pervert the court of justice. Elliot Benham, 25 of Wingfield Swindon, is also accused of perverting the court of justice. The charges are in relation to the summer of 2018. The five-day trial is expected to take place at Gloucester Crown Court on the 24th of February 2025. SPC's Rob Collins should now be on the final stretch of his epic 155-mile journey from St Albans to Walsingham, which he's all done on foot. Rob's trek will raise vital funds for SPC's life mission, fighting against the government's recent extreme policies, such as the Pills by Post scheme, and coming at a time of record numbers of unborn babies being killed by abortion in the UK. Rob has been trekking through historic towns like Bury, St Edmunds and other holy sites over five days, covering a distance that's equivalent to a staggering 10.5 million inches, one inch for every precious life lost in the UK since 1967. Rob has been making contact with supporters and branch members along the way who have kept him going. Rob has put in some effort, but he can't do it alone and he needs your support to make a difference. Join us in rallying behind Rob and together we can make a stand for life. Please donate today. That's all for this evening news. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy our content, please like, share and subscribe.